Okay, now that you have been working on your um, Audacity project and you've got some tracks laid down and you need to stop so that you can come back to it later, there are two things you need to know. One is saving your project and then in the end when you're all done with your project, how to export that project so you can listen to it on a regular MP3 player. So the first step is saving your project. I've got a track laid down here and I want to come back to it later so I need to save it before I leave. I'm going to go to File save project as. It's going to pop up a warning that says that this is just a project file and you won't be able to play it, that you do need to export it at the end when you're all done, which we'll do later. So I just say OK there. And now you want to make sure that you're in your My Music. So if you're on your drive, and then I go to My Music, I have a folder called Audacity Projects, but you might want to just create a project special for the rap project. And it's always a good idea to put all of your work inside of its own folder because there's multiple files that go along with the Audacity project. So click Create a New Folder and title that project um, Rap um, Project or whatever the title of your rap is. And now I'm going to title this one and give the title of my actual song my rap song in here and it's going to save that project okay now I've got that project saved inside of that folder and I'm ready to go so in the future when I'm trying to access that actual document say I start out from being logged in I just want to go to uh, my computer and then I'm going to go to my music and there's my rap song data oops that's not the right one sorry I want to go to my rap song project oh, somehow I didn't get my files saved in there let me just put those in there real quickly Oops. there we go so you're going to open up your my rap project and you're going to notice inside of my rap project if you saved it correctly you should have a folder that has all of this data in it and if you click you'll see there's just all these folders and all these numbers that's not what you want you know, should never have to access that what you're looking for is the one that has a little icon next to it that says my rap song not the one that says data on it so if I click that one what it'll do is open audacity and be ready for me to work on my project okay so that's the first step now let's assume that you've got all of your tracks laid down and you're ready to turn this into a final version. Now what you need to do is re save it as an MP3. So you're going to have to go up to File, and it's not Save, but Export. And you notice it's going to export it. This is defaulting to a wave, but we want to switch that and make it be an MP3 file. And I'm going to make sure, let's put it in the same place always pay attention to where you're saving stuff. I'm going to put it in my music and I'm going to put it inside my rap project folder and I don't want to put it inside that data just leave it alone here just call it my and I'm just going to change the name so I know what that it's really the final rap song okay and it's going to save it as an mp3 that's important that you change that click save it's going to pop up this other thing where you can put in some of the metadata stuff if you want to, but you don't need to. I'm just going to say OK here. And now it's converting my Audacity project into an MP3 song by combining all the tracks that I laid down together. So those are the two steps in saving your project so you can continue to work on it. And when you're all finished with your project, how to convert it or export it into an mp3 so that you can turn it in and save it to play for other folks. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial.